<laughs> hey everybody, it's Jill and it's been a hot second since I've been on Thirsty Thursday. This is the 14th Thirsty Thursday in a long line of them all. I'm sure you've loved them all. Um, but I want to hop on here and share a little bit about our home group experience. Sean and I didn't originally have a home group, largely because we had a newborn in the fall and because Sean wanted to have the experience of going to other home groups and being a part of them. Um, but fast forward to January and we get a notification from one of the home hosts that they have a job coming up that will conflict with the original um, time for the home group. And so we gladly said, hey, we'll host intermediately and have it at our house. So we started in February or end of January, beginning of February, hosting Wednesday night home group. And I think the thing for me was I didn't really know what to expect. All I knew were people are coming over to eat and if we're gonna have conversation and the questions were already up there, so it'd be pretty straightforward. Um, but that first night we had four people come and it was in our living room and the fire was going and we just had conversation and it was so life-giving. Um, fast forward a few months, we just had our last home group last night and I think there were like 14 people there. It's like quadrupled. And it's just been such a blessing to see God mold these people together, bring them in, even at the last minute, um, all with this heart for community, all with this longing to be known, longing to have some place that could be theirs. It was so beautiful for us to watch as people leaned in each week to home group, to the concept of it, to the community of it, and also watch them embrace new people who showed up. Um, it was as if they'd been there the whole time. It was just incredible to watch people share what God had been doing in their worlds and, and what they feel called to or what they're struggling with. Like home groups are such an authentic time to pause in the middle of your week and to share what's happening in your world. Last night we had our final home group as I'm sure many people have had this week and something really cool happened. So as we'd been meeting, um, someone in our group named Ani had been feeling this pull, God tugging at her heart to lean back into worship. It had been a season where she had pulled back from worship, but God had been gently like nudging her. And so this last week, she um, feels this, this pull in her heart and she's like, I feel like we should worship corporately. We're all hungry for it. And so she steps out in courage and she texts Sean and says, hey, I think we're supposed to lead worship or we're supposed to do worship together. And she shows up with a ukulele and you guys, it is the most sacred thing. Sean joins her, plays um, guitar, we all just worship. And it was so powerful, the mantle of leadership on her, the courage that she had to do that in our group, it was so sacred. We'll miss meeting up as a home group, we'll miss our people, but I hold fast to the relationships and the depth that we've built over these last few months. Um, so I would encourage you, come September, October, sign up for a home group. You do that by going online. You just list what night works, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you list a couple people with you. Um, but this is where community happens. This is where you plug in to belong. Mm -hmm.